So before this video start, man, I want to give a huge shout out to Luxury and Beer Oil. They sent me out another care package, man, and this care package is something you won't regret buying. This care package came with Beer Bam, which is for your beard, obviously, when you, you know, try to make your beard look nice and fresh. It came with Beer Oil to help you, you know, rejuvenate your beard, keep that nice, good looking shine. Even came with a face moisturizer, which is really nice, and all the chemicals are in there is really, really good. I've been using it. And I, I'm not gonna lie, my face has been feeling great. They even sent out their face wash. Their face wash is packed with a whole bunch of good nutrients and a whole bunch of good oils that's good for your face and also your beard at the same time. So if you guys are interested on in going to buy Luxury and Beard Oil, hit the link down below, go check him out. Say that I sent you, and he'll probably even hook you up with a little discount. Oh, by the way, did I say it comes with a nice little fire bag? Look how fire this bag is, bro. Jeez. But yeah, man, let's jump into today's video. Let's get it. Yo, what's poppin' playboys? Welcome back to another video, man. In today's video, we're gonna be heading down to the dust, dust track. What the hell is that? We're gonna be heading down to the racetrack, well, drag strip, to go test out Dusty. Um, I did gut out the interior, so there is a lot of a lot of weight loss, I guess you could say. I think I lost like a little bit over 200 pounds. So I want to see if that makes a difference with how she runs. I definitely know she sounds way louder, like way louder. But hey, man, that's what you get when you gut a car. But uh, this is not gonna be like forever. This is just temporary. I'm, I am gonna put back everything back inside the car after I'm done racing. But yeah, man, I just wanna see like what's the difference and why people usually gut their cars. I wanna see what it does. But um, yeah, man, we're gonna be heading down there now. Uh, so yeah, we gonna we gonna see when we get there. What the hell am I talking about? Stop it. Get some help. So we made it to the racetrack. Um, there's a lot of people here, so hopefully I can get some type of runs going. Uh, I'm not planning on staying here all night. Cause I think it's like five to twelve. Uh, yeah, I ain't staying here for that long, for like seven hours. That's crazy. But I was gonna go get a run, and then uh, some something happened. Somebody crashed. So we're waiting now to see if uh. Like, I don't know, bro. We're waiting right now to see how long it'll take. Hopefully, it won't take too long because I do want to get a run in. And there are some nice cars out here. Like, that EG right there is so clean. Clean as hell. Got some fast cars. Like, you guys can't really see them, but yeah. They're here. I'm not really going to show you guys too much of, like, the cars that are here because I really just want to go and uh, race to see what the difference is without having the seats and uh, everything I've done to the car, basically. So... Yeah, man, the last clip, the next clip should be me actually racing. Hopefully, bro. I, I hope. <sighs> I hope that car is, like, finished getting cleaned up. And I hope the driver's okay. Because from what it sounded like, it sounded like a bad crash. So after, like, 50 years of us just waiting, hopefully you guys can hear me. We're finally going. And we're still waiting. So I don't know why I'm going to run. I see everybody's moving, so I guess it's our turn now. So, yeah, let's get it. Alright guys, so it's been a couple of days, actually been like a week. I do have my time sheet right here, so let me grab those. Grab both of them. So on my time sheet, that run that you guys seen in that video, I only got to do one run, sadly, bro, because like people kept crashing and then they had like a little competition they was doing. 
So fun runs was gonna happen after that whole competition, which was probably be like late at night, probably like 10, 11. And that time I did the run, it was eight. So I was not about to just sit there for three hours doing nothing. So I just went home. But yeah, so what I ran was a 101 at 11 seconds. Yeah, so yeah. 11.9 at 101 miles per hour. Uh, and here's my old run. My old run from like the first time I went was 12.3 at 98 miles per hour. That one was that run was terrible, but doesn't matter. So if you guys are thinking like, dang, does taking out the seats help with like miles per hour and just performance wise? I say it does. I did feel a slight little difference with the car. She definitely felt lighter, which is what you want to feel at the track. I did save over, well, probably a little bit over 200, 200 pounds or a little bit under 200 pounds. I didn't really like do all the math yet, but I think. So if you guys want to gut your car to gut your rear seats and your passenger seat, I say do it. If you're going to go to the track, daily driving wise, I won't do it unless you have a quiet exhaust because boy, oh boy, it does get loud in there. Like it gets really, really loud. But uh, yeah, man. I'll definitely do it again if I have to go to the track. It's definitely worth it. Definitely helps save a little pounds. Every pound you can save is actually helping you with that time you're running. So it definitely did help. Um, my goal for Dusty is to get at least 105 miles at the quarter and run at like 11.5, 11.4. If I even get down to 11, that'll be cool. But I need more power to obviously do that. But yeah, I want to I want to trap at least 105 miles per hour in the quarter with this new power. So I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. I definitely need to make a little bit more power, but that's my goal for full bolt-ons and RBC and all that stuff to trap 105. I think I could do it, because right now I'm at 101, so I definitely think I could do it. Oh, by the way, that, this is from a 40, so it's pretty good. And the car next to me ran a nine, uh, ran 11.2 at 98 miles per hour. That car was the EG or EK, one of those, and uh, he, he's K-swapped too, so the fact that Dusty trapped a little bit more, it's, it's pretty good, so I definitely think Dusty has it in her to, to do it. Some I already worried. So yeah, man. If you guys want to take out your rear seats, definitely do it. Don't be scared. Really simple. You guys can go back to my latest video. Mo, my last video. Was it the last video? The video, yeah, the last video when I got the car. So you guys can figure out how to do it. But yeah, man, that's why I made off the video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video. And your boy's out. Peace.